G'day guys, Socket here. Today we're going to continue on with our PC tool tutorials. This is uh, number four in the series. Um, and today we're going to look at the configuration of the PC tool, starting with the input output uh, configuration. So this is um, telling the software what inputs you've got hardwired into your uh, DSP and what speakers or outputs that you've got wired into your DSP so that the software knows how to well, how the signals are being routed um, through your uh, through your DSP. So uh, there are two uh, versions available uh, depending on your make model and age of your DSP. There is what they call standard processing mode and virtual processing mode and if you've watched uh, previous videos in this tutorial series we touch briefly on the differences but um, I'm going to talk about them because I'm going to make two separate videos uh, for input output processing configuration um, one covering standard processing mode and one covering virtual channel processing mode so uh, what are the differences between the two well basically uh, if we look here on the left of the screen, this describes the, st the standard input-output processing um, mode. Um, so you have your inputs coming into your DSP, so that might be your uh, high-level uh, inputs coming from your head unit, your analog um, signals from your head unit, or it could be a digital input from, um, you know, a digital player with a coax or an optical cable or it could be you know a Bluetooth expansion card um, inside your DSP which is picking up a Bluetooth signal direct from your phone or a bunch of things so um, that's the how the signal or the source or your music is getting into the DSP and they're called that's called inputs um, now that input is processed by your DSP manipulated you know by you know your tuning sessions, um, your crossovers and your timing and how you've EQ'd the signal, and then it directs that those signals to the outputs or to your speakers. So these outputs in blue are uh, your tweeters and your mid bass and your subs and you know your rear fills or your center channel. It depends on the setup in your car. So you know it's basically your music or source coming in being manipulated by the um, DSP and then being uh, directed to each of your speakers as output so that's simple processing now if we go to the right of the screen um, virtual channel processing is the same except it has a, uh, a module between the inputs and the outputs which are virtual channels and um, so there's an extra step um, in, the, in the signal flow and manipulation of the signal before it goes to the outputs, uh, at, before it goes to your speakers. And, and that allows, for example, uh, the DSP to have other features such as special sound effects like um, you know, boosting your bass or, or manipulating the center channel or um, providing differential rear fill and a whole bunch of other things which are listed, you know, these, these types of additional features are listed here at the bottom of the screen. So when we go over and look at the input output configuration tab, um, uh, they will look different depending on whether you have uh, standard uh, processing mode or virtual channel processing mode enabled. So for example, looking at um, standard processing mode, uh, we have the inputs and the outputs, um, and they're you know, basically one-to-one. -one. Okay, when we look at virtual channel processing, um, when that is enabled, and uh, we click on the input-output configuration, then it looks quite different. So we have a up here the tabs, uh, take you from an input to a virtual channel from a virtual channel to a output so um, certainly more complicated than the standard processing mode 
So uh, that's the difference between the two modes um, and some of the features that you don't get if you're operating in standard mode. Uh, it all depends on your DSP whether it has that capability or not. Um, but essentially the input output configuration is going to be different depending on which mode you have selected. So the next two videos I will explain how to do the input output routing um, for each of the different modes. So um, yeah, I hope that it sort of cleaned up a bit of the mystery around standard versus virtual channels. And uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.